Today we're going to talk about superstitions, limiting beliefs, and also bridge of events. So stay tuned. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So I'm a certified law of attraction coach and today we're going to talk about superstitions and also sayings like everything's got to get worse before it gets better and where those like what like what those really are and if they are actually things that are real and out there. So just before we do get started, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. Okay superstitions <laughs> superstitions are merely just beliefs that you can create I prefer to think of them as limiting beliefs because I mean seriously honestly um you've ever heard of the one that's like oh you break a mirror and you have seven years bad luck why would I want to create that <laughs> okay <laughs> so it's bad enough I broke a mirror now I'm doomed to have seven years of bad luck no that's a superstition okay so you know you could easily say oh well you know what break mirror, it doesn't matter. Nothing happens, right? I'm still successful. Okay. So, you know, those are superstitions. Like everything's got to get worse before it gets better. That's a limiting belief. I mean, you choose whether or not you want to create that and to subscribe to that belief. I mean, me, myself, no, we create every minute of the day. So we don't have to create that everything's got to get worse before it gets better. We can create that everything is perfect every minute of the day in our lives because we are ultimately create. Every single thought you have actually creates. So now that brings me to the next one. Well, what about a bridge of events? Now that's a very good question. Now bridge of events and how I look at it and what I understand to be a bridge of events is, for instance, let's say that I intend to get a free coffee. Okay. And I'm wandering around my house one Saturday morning and I realize, oh, you know what? I need to go to the grocery store and pick up some groceries. So then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I hop in my car and then I get to the grocery store and then boom, somebody I know is there and they always say, let's go for coffee and they buy me that free coffee. So the needing to go to the grocery store and going to the grocery store was the bridge of events for my intention of getting free coffee to be fulfilled. Okay. So that's sort of what a bridge of events is. Okay. Or for instance, you know, you intend to like find the zebra, like armchair, you know, zebra print armchair, right? And then all of a sudden your mom phones you and says, hey, you know what? Did you check the flyer at, you know, wherever? They've got the zebra print chair. Okay, so her call was the bridge of events for me to have my intention fulfilled, okay? So, you know, and the other thing with divine timing, I mean, you know, you create your reality. You create when things happen and what happens. So there is no timing outside of you that's responsible. Okay. So, you know, it's like, well, I intended this, but it hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe there's some timing I need to wait for. No, you create the timing as well. You create everything in your life with every single thought that you have whether it be today's thoughts, yesterday's thoughts, a week before his thoughts, a month before his thoughts, or even thoughts from 20 years ago, you've created everything that's showing up in your reality. And you are the creator of it all. Okay. Like Neville said, you are God, you are God of your universe. Okay. And whatever's happening in your outer world is a direct result of what's happening in your inner world, in your thoughts. Okay. So every single thoughts, cre thought creates creates. So no, you don't have to create superstitions. You create them. I mean, that's the same thing with horoscopes. Okay. When you read a horoscope, okay, you're the powerful creator and you read it. My horoscope says I'm going to have a great day. Great. I accept that and I believe it. So I start to create it. But you're ultimately the one with the power of whether or not you're going to create what that horoscope says. You know, I mean, it's you, you're the one with the power. There's nothing outside of you that has any power. There's nobody else calling the shots. There's nobody else saying, this is when things are going to happen for you. That's what your path is. You choose that. You choose what you're here to do. 
we're here to create and experience what we create, okay? We're created perfectly and we create with our thoughts. So we get to be on this earth or in this quantum bubble and we get to choose what we want to create with our thoughts and then we get to experience it. We create something we don't like, like <laughs> breaking a mirror and getting seven years bad luck. Great. You don't like it? Stop creating it. It doesn't matter if I break a mirror. I'll always have good luck. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you know, take a look at the sayings and superstitions that you may subscribe to in your life and question, do you really want to create those? Because you don't have to create them. You don't have to create that everything is going to get worse before it gets better. It's completely up to you. You can say that I'm successful every minute and every day of my life because you are the powerful creator in your life. You really, 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 truly are. Anyways, that's my video for today. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are all amazing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.